excited. I have awesome lighting right now, which is great, but now it's gonna leave me. I hope you are all doing wonderfully. <laughs> I haven't vlogged in, in so long. We are going on a little road trip just somewhere in the country. We're getting away from the city. As you see, we have tons. I'm gonna turn this around. We have tons and tons of traffic. Well, not so bad anymore, but lots of traffic. Lots of people in the city, so we're getting out of the city. I'm gonna enjoy a spa and like just a nice hotel. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me in, would you call it like Quebec rural, like north? Quebec's northern place. <laughs> it's like the north of Quebec. Um, so you guys are gonna see the wilderness a little bit. So I'm excited. These are so comfortable. Is this Montama? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm too tired. I haven't had my coffee this morning. We just 
We just picked up Tim Hortons coffee um, and so I'm gonna drink it and I'll wake the fuck up because I'm tired. Okay, I wanna show you the mountain. So this is the mountain and our hotel, there's gas stations and stuff, our hotel literally was right in front of the mountain so we had a view of the mountain which was gorgeous. A bunch of shops, it's a cute little town. It's not far from where we live. It's a nice little getaway. tried to um, film this is kind of like my my setup um, yeah I just just was not into it today I don't know I just think I'm more into like vlogging than than filming I just I don't know just having like a hard time all I want to do today is literally stay in bed and just like binge watch Netflix or something I don't know I don't know <laughs> it's just like one of those days you know you just have I mean, one of those days. I don't even know how to explain it. I was trying to do a couple of videos. I did a video on um, an update, an updated video. But I really just, I loved, I love vlogging. Like I, I stated in one of my videos where I watched uh, my first video, vlogging is really where I started out, and I really just, I don't know. I just connect, and I feel like I can talk, and just, I don't know. There's something about vlogging that I really just, really, really like, and. Um, so I figured I'd just go on here and just talk a little bit to you guys and see if I feel a little bit better. So I just basically did a video because I tried to film a couple of videos like learning how to beatbox and uh, watching reactions and I just was not into it. And, and so I did an updated video just saying sorry because I just, I just couldn't. So I'm going to have some pre-recorded videos that I'm going to edit and then put up um, instead because that's just, yeah. It just... Uh, been such an emotional roller coaster, you guys. It's not even funny. It's crazy. My grandmother, um, I just try to like explain this too, but she's like not doing well. She has COPD, which is a chronic form of bronchitis and emphysema, and her disease just is worsening and just at the final stages, basically. <sighs> um, I don't want to talk about that too much, but, oh gosh, I don't want to just, it's so hard. I'm going to go and see her later, and so I wanted to try and, like, I want to try and film because I want to try and spend as much time with her as I possibly can um, without, like, technology and electronics, and I was thinking, um, she's doing better now, and so they're sending her home. I was thinking about asking her if she wants to do a video, basically, on her life and, and just, like, recap or, like, something, you know, that we can all just, like, look back on. Um... I'm just not sure if I want to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to ask her. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she'll want. Uh, maybe she will. I'm not really sure. But just for like her grandchildren and her grandchildren's children. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can do something special like a type of video. But this whole this whole thing is just like this whole week. You know, I thought I was gonna lose her at the the beginning of the week. The doctors literally said if she takes off her ventilator ventilator that she was going to pass away and she didn't. She's so strong guys that, you know, they said her lungs won't be able to breathe on their own. They are, which is miraculous. It's crazy. 
um, but my sister and I, we were in like the hospital room. My grandmother finally fell asleep. She hasn't, she, at that point, she wasn't sleeping for like days, like if, let alone like a week. And um, she's very religious. She's a very religious woman and always has been. That's kind of where like I started to go to church was because of my grandmother. We, she used to bring um, me and my sister to Sunday school every Sunday and <sighs> really get us involved. And yeah, so the priest from the church didn't, no one told him, but somehow he just knew that she was in the hospital and like maybe he saw her name somewhere i'm not exactly sure she's like in the um, intensive care and so he he came to us while she was sleeping and we were in the room and he's like is it okay if i come in and just pray for her and at that point um she was just like the oxygen level there's like this thing where the oxygen level can't go down to a certain degrees to like 60 or whatever it's really really dangerous and Basically, it was there, and so we we wanted, we, me and my sister just watching the monitors, like, just being like, please, just keep on, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, we just, you know, it, uh, it was a scary time, it was a really scary time. So, the um, priest comes in, and he says, I just want to pray for her, and my sister's like, yeah, sure, and so we went around the bed, and we prayed for her, and he, he said a, a little prayer, and he said Jen, he said her name, and um, <laughs> after he left, is crazy guys I'm not even kidding I don't know if it was like by the grace of God some kind of miracle I don't know um, I definitely do believe in God but you know her oxygen level went up it was crazy I told everyone I was telling my dad I was like this is so crazy I was telling my significant other um, and I was just like this it's, it's miraculous how it happened like that literally right when he left like literally right when he prayed and he was done the the, the levels went up it was it was, it was a weird, the weirdest experience, um, but I do believe in God and the power of prayer, and so that was, that was good, and now she's getting out and she's going home today, which I'm so happy about, so I'm gonna go and see her, and I hope everything goes well with that, um, it's crazy, I, you really realize, you know, how much family means to you and how much sometimes you don't really it's not like it's not, I'm not blaming like I, I'm I'm one I'm one to, to have done this too before but you just get so caught up and busy with life and work and you know stress and bills and this and that and, and all of this stuff right that um you tend to forget to just appreciate those around you and your family and your friends and your loved ones and um I definitely have seen that and I'm so thankful guys like it's crazy for my family and I'm so thankful for my significant other who's been there for me this whole time like not expecting this whatsoever um he was there like so supportive he's so kind so loving I don't I keep on telling him I'm like I don't know what I did to deserve you but you're like a blessing in disguise I hear the door hello Hello? Hello? Literally just talking about you. And you walked in. Literally just talking about you. Okay. What you doing? The 10K? They're still like alive and well. Look at those sexy balloons. I'm gonna put them in the light for you guys. Look how beautiful this is. I had an image that I wanted to have like gold. 10. This one is like. Literally. 10k just in my bedroom like this but I love it I love seeing it and waking up to it every single morning and I can't wait till it's t one mil <laughs> that's what I'm gonna have for like 1 million subscribers <laughs> oh and look at this new diffuser that we just got look at this really cool diffuser so we have like these essential oils like this they're actually really good for you and way more natural than like the um store brand like scented things it just works so well. It smells super good. We have a eucalyptus right now. If you guys have ever been a wet spa, basically like the wet sauna or the wet spa is eucalyptus and that's kind of what it is. It just helps your airways and everything. Ooh, I have a lot of 